I want to do this. Here we go. So, once again, we're here in the dungeon. How are you all doing? Wonderful, I hope. Um, when we last left the party, uh, Ralph had died miserably because Ralph was useless. Um, that's the main takeaway is in regard to Ralph. And our other uh, thief was um, paralyzed. Uh, so let's find out how long they're paralyzed for. We'll say it's going to be... Oh, let's see. Let's get some of these dice out of the way. <clears throat> 2d6 turns. Three turns. They also don't have a time tracker. Oh. Was I ineptly keeping track of time on here? No. Huh. Huh. Okay. Throw those under there. Get those out of the way. Get this sheet Doo -doo -doo -doo. here. Um, and then, right, what we got? We got this sheet. Uh, we gave both of our clerics pole hammers. Um, and then, and then we will. Uh, get back. Well, let's figure out how roughly how many turns we've been in here, right? So we came down the stairs, went around this corridor, we encountered this door, and it was empty. This room wasn't restocked, so that's kind of one turn. Then this is probably kind of like two turns. We sleeped a bunch of. Did we sleep a bunch of dudes in here? No, I don't think we did. Uh, this room is still clear. So that was three. Kind of like had four and got here because we were heading to this room here because it had a clue in it. And they bought this map off of the um, previous party. So probably four, five ish, and we rested. No, it was probably five ish, and we were around here. We had to rest because it was turn six. We went here, and there was. Uh, oh, no, we went down here, we checked this door. And um, this door, we managed to go through, and there was nothing in here. It was just empty. Um, da -da 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 -da, so it turned to do that. So it's just like turn three. We come back. There's a pool of water here that's appeared. Um, and so we weren't able to go any further. Uh, so that's probably around four. So we probably get back around here, around turn, kind of like around turn 12, rest, ambush for cultists. So it's probably... Um, turn one, um, turn, probably turn, around turn, oh, probably around turn one of, uh, so turn, probably around turn 14, right? I should really have a dungeon tracker for this. That would be <clears throat> sensible. Um... Do I have a dungeon tracker laying around? Do I have a dungeon tracker laying around? Laying around. That's my classic. That's my classic. My classic traveler book. We'll probably play some of that later tonight. Um, fantasy. Uh, not one page solo engine. Well, that might be useful. Uh, given I currently have my mythic book buried under here. Uh, Apothecria Wild Highlands. I wonder what that is. Um, Woofrup. We'll be doing some out later, I think, as well. Um, oh, I see. There we go. Uh, da -da 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 hex crawl sheet. Nonsense, 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 nonsense. Crunchy, 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 crunchy. Um, dungeon time tracker. There we go. Let's print this off. Uh, where's the print option? There it is. Print. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Print, 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 print. Go on, print. Print, 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 print. Here it goes. It's going. It's printing. I promise. Here we go. Um. <laughs> Ah, there we go. 
cool. Uh, uh oh. What the hell happened there? Oh no. What kinds of bad have just happened? What's going on? Let's do some checking. I've thrown. I've nabbed something under my table and the, my camera's gone all over the place. Whatever am I to do? I need to get like a better thing to hold this camera at some point. This, uh. This, tri this little tripod it's on isn't really cutting the mustard. It kind of annoys me because it's kind of wonky. You can't see how wonky it is, but it's very wonky. Um, oh, well. You're, you're not interested in how wonky it is. You want me to go... Um, <clears throat> done, 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 done. Rest. Done, 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 done. Uh, rest. Done. Um, done, right? So this is where we are now. Um, and our guy is paralyzed for three turns. So the question is, are we going to carry him around? And I think it's him. Who is it? Which one is it? Uh, Burim. Who knows? Just of them. Uh, we're carrying Burim around. Um, and of course, Ralph is dead. Uh, you can't see him. Dead Ralph. Useless. Absolutely useless. Um, didn't manage to hide in shadows. Didn't manage to stab someone. Broadly the most useless thief ever. So we're now down to one thief. Um, pass me another thief. This one's broke. So. We did kill 12 cultists. So that's nice. Handy. I haven't got a flex book open, have I? Um, have I got drive through open? No. Let's open drive through. Let's get flex. Flex. I don't need the AI guidebook. I don't need the resource companion. I need the solo adventure thing imagey. There we go. Um. What's for XLSX? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. It's just like a... It's just... Mm, that's not very useful. Uh, right, fine. Um, let's close that. I don't need that. I've only got very little little bit of space to work with my mouse over here. Um, I don't want to turn. I want one page open. I want it to fit the thingy. I want to close it. Um, I also set up some extra buttons now. So now I've got a... Uh, there we go. Yeah, it kind of works. So we've got a PDF button. We've got a small camera button. And we've got the Cam 2 button. Well, hey! Um, go me. Uh, I finally did something that I've been... Intended on doing it for the best part of a million years. So, I've done it now. Right, cool. Right, 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 right. What are we doing? We're going to quietly tiptoe down this here corridor, carrying matey boy. Um, probably, you know, one of the clerics at the back has, has him. Um, we had a marching order at some point, but I've, I've lost it. So, um, first off, one, two, so I'm just labeling the uh, characters, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and of course, nine is dead, but at the same time, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, come on you. Eight, nine, hey. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Let's uh, just label these up a wee bit. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, you've never seen such beautiful character models before, have you? Five. 
six. And who's dead? Eight is dead. Seven. Uh, nine. Wow, well, that's not how how you do a zero. Ten. Right. Cool. That'll make that a little bit easier. Um, so let's redo our order. Uh, so number one, will, number one is currently um, out of action. So, and, oh, these little guys are going to... Still need to paint them up properly, but these are going to be the, the traveller peoples. All my little travellers. They're going to be going around... Doing sci-fi stuff. All the rest of it. And this is going to be my pen dragon guy. This is going to be my pen dragon character. Um, I did record a pen dragon session the other day. And uh, I uh, my sound card wasn't working properly. So um, I had a bin it. So that was annoying, as you can imagine. Really annoying. Like, super annoying. Right, anyway. Um, one is kind of going to be carried by somebody. Uh, two is a magic user. So they're probably not going to want to be close to the front. Um, three is a fighter. So they, they will be close to the front. Uh, four is also a fighter, so they will also be close to the front. Mm, five is an elf in Magic Ego, so back here. Six is also an elf in Magic Mode, so come here. Seven, Novalier is a dwarf, so... I have them helping out the back. Ten with a pole. Hammer. All right, there we go. That's kind of the, the combination for now. Um, and and um, wizards holding a holding a torch. They've already used up two torches by now. Uh, Chotan, a torch bearer for all intents and purposes right now. Um, so that gives us a torch kind of in the middle, basically. I and mean, then one is the guy who is, um, out of action. So actually probably a little bit, probably back here being carried, um, by the elves. Okay, cool. So that's, that's, that's the lay of the land. Let's go. Um, and I said that, let's go. Um, but I'm going to pause for a second and uh, merge these two videos in a bit. Because I'm going to go do something. Be right back. Okie dokie. Right. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? So, we're currently here. Um, I think, given we're here, there's this here corridor, let's go this way. So what can we see? Well, and if nothing else, what can we see down here? Let's have a roll. Let's first of all check out the uh, the thingy. Yeah, there we go. Let's close this. Um, do 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 do. Right. Okay. Here we are. Follow D twenty. Eleven. Four way chamber. So, this, um, probably, uh, like so. It's a door. Let's roll D6 to see what kind of door we're dealing with. Three. So it's just stuck. Fine. So I've got a door here. Door here. And a door here. All right. Let's roll for all of them. 
it's a five, so this one's um, this one's locked. Do it next five. This one's locked, and then five. This one's locked. So all the doors are locked apart from this one. Okay. Well, the thief's asleep, so we're just gonna have a fighter listen. Needs a six. Doesn't hear anything. See what's in there as we quietly, carefully try and open the door. So we're gonna have to do a roll uh, for a fighter. Fighter number one. No, fighter number three is at the front. So they've got a strength modifier of one. So they need a five or a six to open this door quietly. They don't. Okay, so we need to shove open this door. So there'll be no surprise from us. And we're ready for a combat encounter because, I mean, duh. All right, so let's see what have we got. Five. No encounter. So it's an empty room. Um, okay. It's fine. Empty room. Uh, and we will, of course, search for room regardless because you always search for room. So that'll take us a turn. Next turn is a random monster check. So on a one, there's a monster. It's a four. So there's no monster. We're going to try and go through this door, but it's locked. Um, and our thief is asleep. Uh, we check all the doors and we're all locked. So because we don't want to wait for our, our trusty thief to wake up, we're going to... Head back this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're around here. What do we find? Fifteen. Straight hall with obstacle. Well, okay. What's the obstacle? Obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. Difficulty, poison, disease, curse, obstacle. Two. Uh. No, it's boring. Thirteen. Thirteen is... There's a door at the end. Uh... Well, it's trapped and locked. Uh, <clears throat> so the fighter's going to be first, so they're not going to be able to do anything about the trap. Uh, they're not going to notice it. So trap. What kind of trap is it? Do, 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 trap generator. Nine. It is a blade. Right, so needs to make a save versus wands. I don't have the uh, save table directly to hand, so let's uh, let's have a check. Uh, old school, old school essentials. Where's the book? <sighs> Dungeon Crawl Classic. Oh, it's annoying, but um, there we go. Essentials, advanced players' time. I think that's where it is. Um, one page. Hangy. Let's get rid of that. Fighter, 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 fighter. Are there saves on here? They are, okay. F for fighter. A, B, C, D, 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 E, F, F. Fighter. So save versus spells is a 16 or above. Twelve, nope. Um, old, who is it? Spurious, uh, who I seem to remember is useless. Uh, will take one d four damage. I got, I got d eight here. Don't I? Yeah. Two points of damage. Spurious takes two points of damage via. The blade comes swooshing down and uh, it 
smashes into it into his arm and uh he's quite upset about that but the door is also locked um so question is can we um can we get through the door 16 yes if we've got an axe or a hammer and we do have a hammer the uh, adela the cleric has a war hammer so she comes up and she um start oh and the dwarf has a battle axe so we'll use the battle axe of a dwarf and the dwarf has a strength of 18 so in order to get through the door needs a um Three or above. One. Can't get through the door. Okay. Um, so that's another turn. And it's loud. So on a one or a two, but there's a, there's a random encounter. Six. No random encounter. So this puts us on there. That means the, um, the thief's awake again. Thief wakes up. And we go, thief, can you open that door? Um, and I'm going to use my standard for a thief on the same level. They could have got a seven or above to open the door. Seven. He manages to unlock the door. And I say he. I think it's uh, one. Number one. Yeah, Burim. So number one is now here, kind of out the front of the group. So Burem opens that door. What's what's on the other side? Let's see. Um, do, 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 D20. Nine. What's a nine? Nine is a room like so convenient. two doors because I like doors this door is a locked this door is locked and trapped so we'll try one to three four to six four so we're going to try this one first uh, and it's of course locked Oh, and I've not rolled for... Hold on, before we do that, let's roll for the room contents. Chamber encounters. Let's roll a d20. 17. Combat encounter. Okay. So let's get out my um, little word document. Random monsters. D12. Do, 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 do in here 11 oh it's about gelatinous cube again <clears throat> yeah it's clearly moved from over here and cleaned up all this been cleaning up in this direction uh, gelatinous cube um <clears throat> what's it's probably mooching about munching on things so does the gelatinous cube um look to eat us no okay so the gelatinous cube is is going about its business eating some like a uh, 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 some filth in here um so we will quietly try and open this oh right, right. we tried to open this and we managed it so we've opened this right next um Next room as we quietly sneak past this gelatinous cube, but just going about its business, doing its cleaning job. What have we got down this corridor? 15. That is, oh, for goodness sakes. Um, uh, well, well it's, again, it's a hall with an obstacle. What's the obstacle? a six we don't take sixes because that's sturdy that's still sturdy 15 don't say i was going to use another table for obstacles let's double check disease generator obstacle generator um 
No, I think that's fine. 15. Puzzle. Um. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, sticks. I need to roll this as well. So that's a turn. We'll need to rest once we deal with this. So there's a puzzle in here. There's no puzzle generator. The characters just need to check to see whether or not they can um, solve a puzzle. See, so ask for an intelligence check. And of course, that's not really a thing. So if we do a D6 um, plus the smartest person's intelligence, we don't really have very, very many. Very Oh, yes, we do. We have the Chotan, the wizard. So she steps up and uh, she needs to get a three or above. Free, right. She she solves the puzzle. Um it's like a so, well let's let's um have I got a version I could probably get up mythic. Let's get up mythic. Uh do 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 do, do, do. here? Yeah. Mythic. 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 Um Mythic Second Edition. V2. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And we need, again, as always, turn off scrolling, turn on maximum height, go to the bookmarks, collected tables and sheets. Um, we want... Um, no, we want... Actions and descriptions. So, let's roll a d100. On the action table. What was I rolling for again? I can't remember. What this puzzle was. 70. Protect. Okay. 64. Uh, majestically. Okay, well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a chess puzzle. All right, so she's got to protect the king um, via a, a combination of moving like knights around to protect them from bishops. Right, so that's kind of uh, the game there. Okay, cool. So that's what she, that's what we do. She uh, uh, solves the wee puzzle, and um, off we go. Do 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 do. She's like, aha, this is simple. Um, D twenty roll. 12. Do, 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 do. Dead end. Okay. And there's a dead end roll generator as well. Six. Nothing. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing down there. That's just a dead end. Fine. And we'll rest for the turn here. Um, oh, and we need to make a random monster roll. Uh oh. Well, that's the gelatinous cube coming down here, right? It's got to be it. This is a problem. OSC, gelatinous cube. Sad times ahead. The entire party might die now because we won't be able to get past it. Uh, uh, my mouse is refusing to play ball. It's mostly because I've. What on earth? All right. Um, here. Oh, yeah, that's a player's guide. I need the monster manual. Monster manual. Do, 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 do. Um. Right. Essentials advanced referees term. Again. One page. No scroll. Turn off the left hand side. Thingies. We don't need introductions. We don't need running. We want monsters. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 E, F, F, G. Gelatinous cube. Okay. So, gelatinous cubes. Um, paralysis 2D4. That's unpleasant. Energy immunity. Um, unharmed by cold or lightning. Um, indigestible items are carried around inside the cube. Cool. Um, this, we remember, has a uh, magic wand in it, right? Um, a wand of remove something, rather. Remove. 
Hmm. We'll figure it out later. We'll figure it out if we don't die, um, shall we? So this is definitely going to be a fight because we can't get past it, and it's just going to come down here and consume everything. So, um, initiatives. Party is, of course, pink, and monster is, of course, the other one. So the party go first. Right, what have we got going on? Um, so range, nothing, magic, well, magic, range, range, range. So let's get this because I can, ironically, from where I am, I can't actually see um, the coins. Yeah, they're, they're, they're blocked by this. I can't actually see them directly. I can only see them through the camera, which is funny in its own little way. Six, and then um, <clears throat> the gelatinous cube. So, first thing that's going to happen is, well, they're going to reposition, because we get to see it coming down the corridor, right? So, we're going to have one is going to move back. Um, we're going to have seven, nine, nine is cleric. So, the cleric is going to come up front. Uh, behind, along with 10. Um, and that's going to leave the rest to shoot. So one has a short bow. Um, so they get to roll. What's the armor class of a gelatinous cube? I don't know. Let's see. Um, PDF. Gelatinous cube's armor class is eight. So it's nice and big and easy to hit, but it has a lot of hit points, I think. 18 hit points. So it doesn't have that many hit points. Um, and how fast does it move? 60 foot. So 20 foot per combat round. And it's probably coming in, in here. So, And we're in these two squares. So it can be one, two. So we get a free, a free round on it. Um, let's just keep it up there for a moment. Um, and let's keep a track of its hit points. So it's got um, 18 to start off with. There's not, uh, yep, 18 to start off with. Um, 12 against an 8 is a, for missile, um, is a, hold on, this is the wrong way around. This should be, um, anyway, it still hits because I just need an 11, so no point worrying about it. Um, so we hit and we do 1d6 worth of damage because it's a, um, bow, so one arrow fired. It's down to 14 hit points. Excellent. Um, next. Uh, who's next back there? I can't really. So 3, 4, 10, and 7 up front. So 2 has a sling. 16. And that hits, right? It definitely hits. So D4 damage. 2 more points of damage. So it's down to 12. Next um, is, not Spurious, Spurious is out front, four is out front, uh, five has a short bow, so five will shoot, seven, that'll miss, six will shoot, 14, that's a hit, um, yeah, so that's a D6 of damage, four more points of damage, okay, we're going pretty well, things are going, things are going our way. Um, right, next seven is in the melee, eight is dead, nine will use their sling and miss. Uh, the melee ones can't attack this turn. Duh, uh, yeah, because they'd, they'd have to swap their weapons at the start of the next turn, so they're not going to get out their, their ranged weapons, they're just going to stand there ready to fight. Um, so, next is, yeah, next round. It moves forward. Um, so, next, it goes first. So, it moves forward one square and it attacks. How many attacks does it get? Attack one touch. Okay. So, it will attack Spurious. Three or four. Um, so, one to three, it will attack number three. Four to six, it will attack number four. So it attacks number four. Right. Who? Armor class of two. 
Okay, and it's a four hit dice monster. So, right. To hit two, it needs 13 or above. It misses. Excellent. Things are going unusually well for the party. Right. Um, ranged attacks. So, the same group attack again. So, Burim first. 14. That's a hit. Does a D6 worth of damage. So, it's three points of damage. So, it's down to five. Next is um, Chotan, who fires a sling, hits, does a d4 worth of damage. One point of damage, it's down to four. Um, Spurious, Alia, or both in melee. Nim is not. Nim fires their short, short bow. Nine, that's a miss. Okay. Uh, Isla fires her short bow. 16, that's a hit. And with a six, it's dead. Good job, everybody. There we go. A gelatinous cube is killed. Um, let's make a note of that. Uh, one dead gelatinous cube and it had a wand in it so let's roll let's roll in the um ASE gm's guide as to what that is uh i should probably turn that off and turn that on uh, what was I looking for again? Oh yeah, I remember. Do 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 treasures, treasure types, magic items. We know it's a wand, so let's go to wands. Uh, ah, okay, good. Miscellaneous potions, rings, rods, staves, and wands. Okay, so let's roll a d hundred. <laughs> 72 is that a wand it looks like it's a wand 72 wand of magic missiles okay uh charges number of charges it has left uh, uh okay so let's just find the wand of magic missiles um, charges up to two charges may be expended in a single round. Oh, so it doesn't tell me how many charges it starts off with. It's annoying. Um, back here, um, ones. Ah, here we go. 2d10 charges when found. So 11. There's 11 charges, wand of magic missiles. Uh, that'll go to um, the wizard. Wand of magic missiles. Uh, 11 charges. Well, that's cool. It's not amazing, but it's pretty cool. I mean, if we fire two, and we can fire two in one action as well. Um, well, what else is in it? What was it? Oh, fiddlesticks. I should have. Um, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G, gelatinous cube, um, treasure type V, okay, V, 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 uh, uh -huh. treasure types, uh, treasure types. V. E. V. V. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see. Has it got any silver pieces in it? Yes. So it has one D100 silver pieces. So that's four silver pieces. Okay, fine. Um, put a note down on here. Four silver pieces. Uh, that's sad, isn't it? EPs, nope. Uh, GPs, nope. Uh, 
Teepees, no. Gems, no. Jewelry, yes. Yeah, 1D4 pieces of jewelry. And it's already got a magic item in it. So, jewelry, um, 1D4 worth of jewelry. Three, three pieces of jewelry, and jewelry are 3D6 per piece, right? Gems and jewelry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 3D6, 3D6 per piece. So one piece of jewelry is worth 800 gold pieces. 800 GP jewelry. It's a beautiful wee necklace fair. Um... Uh, 1,000 GP, GP jewelry, and then the last one is 1,300 GP jewelry. Ooh, ooh, that is very nice. When it comes to getting gold, getting them, getting them bits of jewelry and stuff is is for one, right? Yeah, uh, we've used another set of torches. And, um, cool. Well, let's go. Um, Gelatinous Cube. Dealt with. And let's uh, turn off the PDF. Right. Um, <laughs> pardon me. Uh... Mm. Right. Nice. Elated off of that victory, we'll go and check out this door. Um, well, we'll rest and we'll do return one. Oh, another random encounter. Okay. What do we get now? Mm -hmm. mm, D12. <clears throat> Three. Cultists again. Uh, well, we can't come through this way, so we've got to come through one of these two doors. So one to three, four to six, we're right down this corridor. Four to six, we're in this corridor. One to three, we're in this corridor. Right? One to three, we're in this corridor. Probably coming down towards us. How far away are they? 90 foot. So uh, one, two... Well, if we're here, we've just finished this fight, right? So there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they're here again. Cultists. Uh, do we hear them? Five or a six? Six, we hear them. Okay. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to come here. And we're going to um, jam this door with some metal spikes. Um, do we have any metal spikes on us? I think it's likely that we have metal spike spikes on us. So I'll roll advantage. No, we don't have any metal spikes on us. <laughs> Great. Um, okay. So we're not going to come here and put metal spikes on this door. Um... Uh, one to three, we ambush. Four to six, we try and go through that door. So we try and we, we, we're going to ambush them. Okay, are they surprised when they come through this door? No, no. They, they, they saw all the dead bodies up here and they're ready for a fight. Um, how many of them are there? There are seven. Seven cultists. <clears throat> okay... Right, so let's um, get this out of the way for a moment. <clears throat> um, that's probably fine. So, uh, where's this pen? Here it is. So if we imagine his door, uh, and if we just quick look at the map, it's like a... 60 foot by 
So it's something like this. Like so, kind of set up. <clears throat> and again, we're going to have four, three, um, which one is a dwarf? Dwarf is seven. Seven. Uh, ten, nine, two, five, six, and one. Right? Seems good to me. Uh, bad guys. Where did I just put that little tray of little guys? Where Where did I put them? Where Where did Oh, there they are. Right. Uh, one. So first of all, though, let's roll to see who goes first because this might be very short. Because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast sleep. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So they go first. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as we remember, these are one hit dice monsters with. Um, These are one-hit dice monsters with poison daggers, right? That's uh, what we're dealing with here. Um, but they open the door, ready to surprise and attack us, and instead we're all around the door waiting to attack them. So, and they, But they go first because they've pushed over the door and in leaps this guy to attack. So number one will attack number seven because it's right in front of him. Um, there was 16. So, hit dice one monster. Hit dice one monster versus... What's number seven's armor class? Number seven's armor class is two. So, hit dice one, 16. Hits armor class two. That's upsetting, isn't it? Poor... Poor guy. Okay. Um, so that's 1d4 damage, 3 points of damage off of a dwarf, do, 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 do. so that takes him down to 7, and then, um, we're going to have to look up a blasted, um, saving roll table, aren't we? That's what we're going to have to do. Fight, uh, dwarf comes before, fight, uh, dwarf. We need to save against paralysis. So they've got a 10 because dwarves are sturdy chaps. Chaps and chapettes. 19. Okay. That's a good roll for saving. He saves, so he's not paralyzed. Okay. Party's turn. Um, who's going to cast it? Uh, there'll be the elf. So Nim casts sleep. So used it. Uh, and they put to sleep 2d8 worth of hit dice. So one, that's not good. Two, that's terrible. Okay. So they put to sleep two at the back. Literally as bad as we could possibly have got. Um, these things happen sometimes, though. Uh, right up there with, with my people getting murdered on the first attack. Okay, so this now means that I am going to have to roll four hit points for all these guys. 
So number one has one hit point. Let's uh, where's that pain gone? Okay. Um, one, one, two has two. Oh, isn't that nice? Three has eight. Okay. Four has five and five has four. Okay. Go out of the way. Right. Top bananas. Melee, right. Well, seven of course is gonna return the favour. Um, and whack that with a battle axe. 14. Uh, their armor class, I think, is like 7. Um, so. 7. Stabby Man. Uh, Novelier. So I'm using a battle axe, actually. So no, their armor class is 3, anyway. Uh, battle axe. 12 or above. Yeah, that hits. Um <clears throat> And it'll do D10 points of damage. D10. There we go. And they've only got one hit point anyway, so they are dead. <clears throat> right. Can't reach the other two through the door, so ranged attacks it is. Oh, wait, no, we've already passed ranged combat. Um, so, next round. Now... These guys go first. What are we going to do? We're not going to keep on charging into this this passage here. So um, uh, let's. Uh, will they try to negotiate? No. Okay. Um, what else might they do? We're not going to try to negotiate, and we're not going to try and push through this gap. So the other thing that would um, be sensible, I suppose, would be if they um, if they fall back, if they retreat and um, get help, right? They're going to wait, raise the alarm to the to the the necromancer and. Um, and try and get away. So that's what we're going to do. They're going to run, right? Because clearly this is not a, a, a winnable situation that they find themselves in. Um, so they're all going to run off. And I think that is the, the most sensible solution. We should have some kind of like a dungeon um, threat tracker or something which increases the, uh, the thing. So there's clearly two... I mean, we know there's one faction so far in here, which is like the, the cultists and the, the, the undead. Um, and uh, they're almost certainly working together. Um, are the vampire... Are the cultists aware of the vampire lord? Um, let's just roll one. Twist. Okay. Let's roll on the action table. I think this is the way it goes. Action table. 66. Mm, am I supposed to write it, roll twice on the descriptor table? Let's have a look at this. If it's 66, mechanically 27. Extravagant. Well, uh, 66 on here. Oppose. And 27. Oppose. Um, ex oppose emotionally. So, yeah, actually, they, they, they are, they're not, they do know that the um, vampire lord exists, but... Um, they are, they are, uh, 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 on opposite sides. So let's make a note of that. Um, vampire lord, um, 
I should probably have started off with the uh, cult faction. Cult faction opposed um, to vampire lord. Um, so let's say... Um, do you... Why emotionally, right? Opposed, opposed emotionally. Well, the vampire lord. Um, what do we think the vampire lord did? Why are they opposed emotionally? So what did they do that emotionally upset the cultists? Um, we got a good no, not really. Let's uh, let's roll for um, let's do another roll on this table to see if um, so we emotion impose emotionally nine attain 15. 15. That doesn't make any sense. Creepy, obtain creepy. So, um, they're trying to get hold of this um amulet as well, right? Um, because they because the vampire lord took it off of their former leader and and killed their former leader and raised them as a as a as a um vampire spawn, um, to a vampire lord because uh, they're after the amulet. Amulet um, stolen from their former cult master. Yeah. That sounds like a thing. That sounds like a thing. So that's why they're that's why they're kinda mad with the um they're kind of mad with the vampire, so they're going to withdraw. So I guess, um, is the cult faction um, in charge of the uh, the monsters, the, the undead, right? The, the normal undead, not the vampiric undead on this floor, right? Um, so let's see. Yes, okay. So the undead... Undead are aligned with cult cult has losing the amulet impacted their control over the undead yes okay um losing amulet has led has led to the undead being more difficult to control. So basically, the only person that can still control the undead is that necromancer that we met earlier on, right? Uh, well, for the other party met long ago, right? So that's the only one that's able to do anything about the... Um, control the undead otherwise the undead are just attacking any living thing that they encounter in the dungeon um <clears throat> cool well uh we don't have any iron spikes um do we have any other might we have any other way to seal the door uh probably not right so let's come over here and check out this this um this one right so check for traps um i should probably do the 2d6 thing so it needs a seven okay so we detect the trap do we deal with the trap we do can we unlock the door yes okay so that'll take two rounds so there's an other round of Wandering monster checks. There is no wandering monster. We need to rest this turn. So we're at the end of that top line. Um, so let's um, just 
been four hours this group have been down here. Uh, and we've used another torch. Okay. Um, well, that brings us to about an hour. So let's wrap this up here. Um, and yeah, my housemate should be home soon. So I'll be able to eat some food and that'll be great. Uh, and then I'll go and play something else. Or maybe I'll come back after this. This has gone well. I think we've, we've managed to, to get around the dungeon. We've got some treasure, which is important. Um, we haven't got any more evidence as to how to deal with this, but we've found out some interesting stuff about this this um, uh, 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 cult faction and their relationship to the, uh, to the vampire lord and also their relationship to the undead. So, cool. Um, See you next time. Bye-bye.